What's up, everybody? Um, I'm, I'm headed to the Nevada Coin and Jewelry to see uh, Nick and Laura. Uh, but what's crazy is I went there the other day and I actually forgot to record. Um, there wasn't really anything to report. I just bought this on uh, 2021 Canadian uh, Maple Leaf. I'm working on my third two of those. So I'm going to head over there now. Man, it's hot out here, man. Whew, I ain't complaining, but it's... This weather for me is a little different than back home in Rochester, New York. So um, I'm right here about to make a U-turn and go up there and see what they're talking about. Uh, this is spot prices today. Uh, they're relatively down from what they were before. It's still in the 27s, though. But uh, like I said, man, uh, things are going to are. I don't know. I, I think things are going to eventually it's like shaking a bottle of uh, soda or something. And it keeps, you know, fizzing out, fizzing out. And after a while, it's going to pop, man. You know? <clears throat> and part of me wants it to pop, but maybe 10% of me wants to, it to pop. But the other 90% says no, because I'm a new stacker. And I've only been doing this uh, for a few months. So, of course, there is a part of me that, you know, wants that puts something, puts cash into something that he's very passionate about at a certain price. Of course, a part of me wants it to go up. You know, I do, absolutely. But um, it's a catch-22 for me because I, I love silver so much. I don't want to sell it, number one, and get that fiat currency because I like the silver better. But eventually, I will sell, sell it. But number two, and most importantly, I, I, I bought it for a long-term situation, right? I bought, in the beginning, I bought it for a long-term situation. Uh, I didn't think the prices were gonna go up this fast. Um, I didn't think I was going to sell for another 10, 15, maybe 20 years, to be honest. Um, who knows what, what will happen? Everything uh, changes it. But I mainly bought it uh, as insurance, uh, just in case something happens. A savings account, because it's a great savings account, and a hedge on inflation to keep my, my purchasing power intact, almost like in a time capsule. You know, that's why I bought it. I didn't bought, buy it, so I go, man, I hope this stuff goes up, because I have other things I... I use my cash for, convert my cash into, to make uh, my my cash or my money expand, and uh, you know grow and stuff like that. You know, I, I use that for other things. I use, like I said, I use my silver for, you know, savings. You know, and keeping the real money and just converting the extra cash that I have that I'm not investing or uh, using as entertainment or paying bills with uh, to save it. That's what I do it for. You know, so it's a catch-22 for me, man, because, you know, you see the prices going up, and it's like, wow, okay, something I bought is going up, but at the same time, it's like, dang, I, it's 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 causing me to buy less or less ounces because now each ounce is costing more fiat cash, and that's what I'm going through right now, but there's nothing I can do about it if it goes up, but I, I saw an undervalued asset because it, it's literally an asset because it's, it's, it's money. It's real money, silver. And I look at this thing, and I'm like, how is this 20 something dollars an ounce? I, I just didn't understand it. That's why a big part of it is you buying it. You know what I mean? Um, so we'll see what happens, man. I'm going to go up to the, uh, the Nevada Coin and Jewelry. Um, and I'm going to stack surely, but slow, s slowly but surely. You guys see that uh, I don't buy a lot of stuff, or I don't convert a lot of cash into a lot of stuff. Sometimes I get more than, than, uh, than, I, than I don't sometimes. And, Sometimes are good days and sometimes are bad days, but uh, my my currency, just like yours, my fiat currency is uh is finite. It's not it's not infinite. It's not you know uh, it doesn't last forever. You know what I mean? So you got to balance out your cash with your with your bills and stuff. So. All right, I'm gonna head on in here. Sorry for rambling. I'm gonna head on in here. See what they got to say. Let's see if somebody might park. Okay, here's the UPS guy. They're, they're always getting deliveries, guys. Always. <laughs> I just had somebody lay on the horn in front of me. Um, people get so mad driving. It's like if you're if you're in a standing in line at a grocery store, nobody's gonna start yelling and screaming at you if you stop for a second. I always wondered about that. That's why I never like honk at people. So I'm like, would I do this in real life? I mean, like outside of my car. Why is it when we get in the car, we start yelling and screaming with our horn? Anyways, all right, let me go in here. Let's see what UPS brought them. Maybe they brought something for me. And, uh, yeah, let's see what happens. All right, guys. Pulling out of the Nevada coin and jewelry. Man, 
I love those guys, man. Those guys, I mean, uh, Nick and Laura. So they're so damn cool, man. I uh, I come in, and you know they like to, they like to mess with me. So normally when I walk in, as of late, they've been they've been laying out because you know they have the camera system and stuff. So they lay out um, one of these Nature Valley bars or something to this effect, some kind of snack and a water right on the counter. So I'm in there. <laughs> just, I mean, the customer service there is great, but I'll get to that in a second. And um, like, hey Jerry. So today they had this on the counter. And they had this on the counter, <laughs> Dr Pepper, and I'm like. First, I thought it wasn't mine. I thought it was like Nick's, like a snack or something. And I'm looking for the water. And I'm like, wait a minute, is this for me? In my head, I'm thinking that. I'm like, hey, man, our our, our waters were warm, warm today. So we had to give you a, a Dr. Pepper. I said, oh, my God, look at this, man. You know, like, look, look at the customer service here. And, and this is why, guys, no matter what uh, their prices are, which are good prices, they have good prices, even when... Uh, Nick from the Nevada Coin Mart has great, great deals. I still got to come back and see Nick over here at the at the at Nevada Coin and Jewelry. I have to. I have to see him and Laura because they treat me so good. You know what I mean? And I like them. I, I consider them friends of mine almost. I mean, we're not hanging out outside the outside the job, but I we could though. You know, we're, that's our kind of relationship that we have. That we seen each other outside, we could definitely hang out. You know what I mean? But anyways, we're in there, and the uh, UPS guy left some stuff on the truck, and uh, you know, left the, you know some stuff, and they had a whole bunch of stuff they were unpacking. I go, man, you know, if people make videos like this, of people unpacking stuff, and they're like, yeah, you know. And then he let me, uh, he let me unpack a couple of things that he had, and it was nothing but gold. <laughs> you know, he had heavy gold and stuff like that, and. Man, when I when I see Nick and how well he's doing, it's like, man, you know, one day I'd, I'd like to be like that, you know. Now, now, you know, Nick does very well. If Nick stopped selling all of his stuff and just kept it, I mean, he has, I'm not trying to put his business out there like that because he has a lot of security there and cameras, but let's just say he's, he's, he's good. The stuff that he has now as a stacker, I look at it from a stacking standpoint, not from a, like a retail buy it for this amount and sell it for a little bit of that amount i'm looking as a stacking thing and when he pulls out his silver and his gold and his platinum and all the stuff he has he let's just say if something went down he is good okay he's good uh, on cash too he's good so a lot of a lot of people if you go to sell them stuff they don't have the amount of cash um that nick has nick has cash too you know what i mean if you if you need it, it's locked up in a vault safe you can't go get it guys so you know, but anyways, so yeah, so we were we got to talking about the markets and everything, and you know how things just go up and down and stuff, and uh, yeah, it's uh, I was telling them what I was just telling you guys about how I feel about the market, um, you know, when it goes up, how I feel about it, you know, and they concurred, you know what I'm saying, but at the same time, you know, we still got a stack, you know. So let me show you what I got real quick. Obviously, I got a 2021 Canadian Maple Leaf. I believe as far as uh, coins are concerned, you know, the sovereign premium actual monetary coins, these are the best ones to stack right now because they're probably the second or third best coin behind American Silver Eagle and maybe a Libertad. Um, but, and at the price, if they're all the same, you gotta go get this one. As far as, like, not a Libertad and a, um, and a silver eagle get those out of the way if all these are the same these uh britannias philharmonics you know cougarans kangaroos stuff like that you definitely got to go for the canadian maple leaf not because it's from canada or anything like that but they're just worth a little bit more you know what i mean now if you're from one of those countries does his name hey go get you one of those if you like them you know stack your stack your coins your 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 your, your country's coins but for me i'm always going to go for the uh if everything's the same, I'm gonna go for the uh, Canadian Maple Leafs. Um, also, I got, uh, you know, and I was thinking this too, I made a joke, I said, man, I was gonna buy one ounce, but now that you guys gave me a Dr. Pepper, I gotta buy two ounces, you know? So I got two of these Sovereign Coins, uh, fractional Sovereign Coins. Um, let me show you when we stop. Man, every time I need the car to stop, you ever notice when you need the car to stop, um, the light never goes, but when the light is long, you always have somewhere to go. That's what's happening right now. So let me wait for this light. 
All right, I'm at Cane's right now, Raising Cane's. It's a uh, chicken place. I don't know if you guys have it where you live, but it's pretty good. But anyways, I bought uh, two of these. I don't know if you can even see this. Let me take a look at this. I bought two halves of these. Show you the back. I bought these before. So two halves for those. For, uh, of those. And one Canadian maple leaf cost me $67. Um, I'm not mad about that. And I paid, today I paid cash for it. I had uh, a few dollars on me, so I just paid cash. Um, so yeah, guys, that's what we got today. Uh, we're still grinding, slowly but surely. You know what I mean? And stack, stack on your budget. Don't worry about what I'm doing or any YouTubers doing or anybody else is doing. It's just like at the gym, when you see somebody lifting weights and they lift a lot more than you or a lot less than you, um, you're not going to see a weakling guy who's only less than 50 pounds benching 50 pounds and you can bench 200 pounds. You're going to go down to that 50 or vice versa. You see a guy benching 350 and you can only do 200. And, re and when I say only, that's relatively speaking. You're not going to go up to go 350. You always stack at your own pace, guys. Okay. Uh, bottom line is, uh, you know, you always know your budget, what you have in your cash. And if you feel like you're not stacking enough, then either cut back on some things that you're buying uh, that you don't necessarily need uh, and also cut down on some of your wants. But most important thing to me, to be honest, that's secondary, cutting down your expenses. But the most important thing is uh, earning some more cash. And I'll make a video specifically about that, all right? All right, guys, let me know uh, in the comment section below what you think about my pickups. What do you think about the silver prices today? Um, obviously, this video is gonna be a little bit behind who knows when you guys are watching this maybe it'll be over 30 um who knows you know like i said it's in the 27s now and like i said if it goes back down to the 26s i'll be happy you know what i mean so we'll see what happens so please guys leave me a comment uh in the comment section below do me a favor guys if you like my videos um share them if you like this video hit the like button only if you like it if you like my videos on my channel uh share it please only if you like it okay because we already know i'm sharing a lot of stuff but we also know sharing is caring, all right? You guys know I love you very much. You guys are my boys. I love the girls, too. I love y'all. I love all y'all, okay? I'll talk to you guys soon. You guys have a wonderful day. Seriously, go out there, stack, uh, keep your expenses down, and earn as much money as you can, guys, all right? I'll talk to you soon. Peace and love.